Hello vlog, it is currently 11, 17 a.m. right now. So, good morning. Today I am going to a plant shop and we're also gonna go to Lowe's. I have kids living upstairs. But anyway, it's gonna be a good, fun, chill day. It's a beautiful, sunny day. There's blue skies. I'm getting ready right now, just in my hair, makeup, trying to get my outfit on. And then we're gonna head out and then come back home for lunch. So let's get ready. I'm trying to pick out my outfit. So I am now dressed. We're just about ready to leave. So here is the outfit i checked the weather and it said 58 degrees but the real feel is going to be like 66 so a little bit cold but not too bad so i just got on this cute little white frilly tie front top and then i've got on a beige off-white what is this cardigan not cardigan corduroy jacket I've also got on some high-waisted denim jeans that flare out by the ankles and then I curled my hair, put in a little clip. I have on a little necklace as well. I have no idea where this is from. I kind of just found it when I was cleaning out my jewelry one day. Got some rings on as well. This one is from my cousin. This one's from my mom, I believe. And then I'm planning to redo my nails later today when we come back as well. So I'll show you guys that. And then for shoes, I'm just going to put on some white sneakers. Okay, so I figured I'll just show you my shoes while I'm getting ready. And look at my cat socks. <laughs> but yeah, these are the white shoes that I got recently. They're only like $24 from Target and they're actually so comfortable. And usually the back of the shoes rub against my heels, but this one has not been doing that. So super happy about that. So yeah, I'll update you guys in a little bit. <laughs> But I feel so lazy Yeah, I'm home alone all day And I got no more songs left to play Baby, I'm not all good in it I'll come back to you and let me be your man I got so many questions, so that money are you fine, fine? Eat on my mind, damn No one has any go in and go now. I don't can you go box or I say I missed you, but we go nice here soon. No other go back. Hello everybody. We are home now. Um we packed up some bow on the way. I wanted to show you what exactly we got for our boba order because i realized i still have the receipt so the one that i have here is the heather delight which is the second one on the receipt and that's black sesame it's a black sesame smoothie with a hint of fresh taro i guess i forgot that there was like taro in here i could only really taste the black sesame and i got 30 percent sweet with honey boba and then the other one that we got is a boba chino which is their signature milk tea topped with house-made whipped cream and roasted pistachio and the whipped cream was kind of like salty it was kind of like salted foam cream um it was really good i liked it and it was really cute because they came with these little instructions as well so this experience was kind of new because they didn't have like a storefront it was a ghost kitchen so it's literally just like a kitchen where they make the drinks and then you know there's no place to like sit or anything it's all just for like delivery or pickup so we picked up our drinks and they each came with these little like instructions so this one is for the heather delight which is the black sesame one that i have so this one just says just mix well and enjoy um and that's what i did and then the other one which is for the boba chino has a bit more detailed instructions but it says enjoy a spoonful of the cream top sip the tea latte with a straw mix well and enjoy the extra creamy tea latte so i'm gonna finish up the rest of the drink oh my gosh i didn't even show you what we got we went to lowe's as you guys saw and we just had to pick up some supplies to change out this light switch that broke just the cover of it looked around at the plants they actually have a pretty big selection which i 
was kind of surprised by i guess i don't really go into lowe's that often so i don't really know what their selection is usually like but they had quite a lot so took a look there and then across the street is another flower shop like a nursery and that's where we got our previous plants so i was intending to get a pothos from there as well but i actually like the pothos that they had at lowe's better than the flower shop that we went to so we went back to lowe's and i picked up this beautiful pothos our new plant baby it's really pretty and it looks really healthy and i like that some of the leaves have some you know variegation i think that's what it's called like when the leaves are kind of like different colors but this is a golden pothos and i'm planning to put this on top of our new shelf if you saw my last vlog i just put together our new shelf and i did a whole little mini room makeover you can watch it up here if you have not seen it yet so got that today i'm super excited i've been wanting one for a while now so i'm gonna finish up my bulba take care of him all right hello everyone now we're gonna do our nails so i have a bunch of things that i want to show you guys i have two brands that i just discovered recently that are both korean beauty brands i have been really liking these nail stickers from this brand called ohora they make these really cute nail sticker designs and theirs are made of actual gel nail polish so i kind of cut up my strips because it's just easier for me to work with that way but they come in these like strips and they have some really cute designs like this one has this really pretty constellation design there's three here with constellations and these are kind of more shimmery the name of this one is n virgo and i love that because i'm also a virgo and these are made of actual gel polish and they're like 60 percent cured when you get them like this and then you have to use their led lamp to fully cure the nail polish so this is what it looks like and then you plug it into a usb turn it on leave your nails under the lamp for 45 seconds but then you do it three times and then it's fully hardened and fully cured and it lasts up to two weeks and i really like them i have this one and virgo and i also got this one in n teddy so i've tried these two so far really like them i do think they last up to two weeks but i recently bought this gel top coat so i got this from amazon it's a gel a clear gel top coat you have to cure this under a lamp as well so once i put these stickers on my nail i'll use this top coat cure it and then using this has helped the nails last like three weeks for me like i just took this set off like i took it off last night i'll insert some footage of me peeling the nail stickers off of my nails the removal process is easy but they still last a really long time which is great but yeah these and virgo nails lasted three weeks for me a few of them already fell off by the time i took them off last night but the ones that stayed stayed on good they're pretty affordable too i want to say like this was i think 17 dollars because it came with some gems as well like there was a little moon shaped gem i think this one this one might have been 17 dollars as well but typically their stickers are like 14 dollars which is really good especially if it lasts like three weeks i think without this top coat it would last almost two weeks but this top coat definitely helped to make it last longer so that's all about ohora and now i want to try these other nails that i just got in the mail from dashing diva and they're another k-beauty brand that sells like nail stickers they have press-on nails but yeah i have seen people compare ohora and dashing diva so i wanted to try dashing diva today so i'll show you what that's like i did film me putting on these nails the teddy nails but i transferred all the files to a hard drive but that hard drive was giving me a lot of problems recently and i wasn't able to access it so if i can grab the files i will insert them here but if not 
really sorry that I'm not able to show you the application but it, it's really simple so it's kind of the same process with Dashing Diva so I got Glean Queen and Turtle Tantrum and I'm gonna be trying Turtle Tantrum today so for Dashing Diva you don't need to cure them the Ohora lamp though this one you can get it for free so yeah that was really nice but these you don't need to cure you just stick them on your nail and then you're good to go they're supposed to last for up to two weeks as well you can see here on the front it says lasts for up to 14 days so i'm gonna try them and see if they do last for 14 days i was thinking of putting the top coat on as well but i kind of want to just leave it use it by itself without any top coat and see if it actually does last up to 14 days because that would be amazing i feel like it's not gonna last up to 14 days though i need to open this i feel like it's not gonna last up to 14 days because i'm pretty rough with my nails with the ohora nails when i was wearing the teddy set i experienced some chipping on a few of the nails just like from opening i don't know like containers or lids and things like that like it would just chip off a little so that was sad and i think that was within like five or six days of wearing them but again with that top coat i didn't have any chipping whatsoever but yeah i am going to switch the view now so that you guys can see what i'm doing okay so let's open this up so inside we have a prep pad and then instructions and the actual stickers i've been liking nail stickers more than like press on nails or fake nails because these are like real nail polish so they don't feel as foreign on my nails oh we also have a nail file of course so we've got two long strips we've got just like plain white strips with tortoise shell and then we have this one with tortoise shell and like a gold accent and these olive green ones so that's really pretty and here are like the quick instructions so you prep your nails select the sticker size apply it and then file and then that's literally it okay so let's see here you can also trim them with nail scissors or nail clippers so i'm probably gonna do that and then file i know that when you're choosing stickers for your nails you should go with one that is smaller like if you're in between sizes go with the smaller one okay i think these two will work for my thumbs i'm just gonna cut so i know which ones are for which finger i'm just gonna mark it with this sharpie it's not doing much but at least it'll tell me which side goes by your cuticle <laughs> You can't see it very well, but I did this with the Ohora nails too. It really helps. Accented ones are a little bit too big for my fingers. I guess you could cut them. I did cut the Ohora ones. They worked. Like, it's totally fine to cut them. The brand themselves even said like, yeah, you can cut them if they're too big for your nail. I'm noticing that these Dashing Diva sizes are a little bit big for my nails. Like, I guess my nails are on the smaller side, but this is the smallest one and it, I think, is barely gonna fit my pinky. Hmm. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with this layout. So these are all gonna be for my left hand, and then these are gonna be for my right hand. And I'm actually gonna spend some time right now to shape my nails. I'm not going with any specific shape, I'm just kind of rounding out the tips, because I just like that look. I used to do a lot of nail art back in the day when Tumblr was still a thing. I used to post a lot of my nail art on, on there. I remember I did like a Rilakkuma design. I also tried to recreate the Arizona iced tea can design with the green background and the pink cherry blossoms. I did like snowflakes for winter, penguins for winter as well. Yeah, I was super into <laughs> nail art and then i kind of just stopped because it takes a lot of time i would spend hours on it it was fun it was like kind of therapeutic recently i've been getting back into it i have neglected my nails for so long but now i'm like getting back into you know just having fun with my nails all right i just washed my hands now we can prep the nails yeah you definitely want to make sure that any oils and stuff are cleaned off of your nails because that way it will help the stickers stick on and last longer okay nails are prepped and dry so let's get to sticking 
So I'm gonna just take my pinky. We're gonna start off with the pinky. So now I'm just gonna follow the instructions actually on filing it. Go down instead of going side to side because then that might make the sticker lift. There's the excess. And there we go. The first sticker is on. Looks pretty good. It could use some cleaning up around the edges, but I think I'll just do that at the end. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put on the rest of the stickers. Of course I'm right to drop on up to see you Two hours is nothing, two K was a bit too Much from my heart and hands out Feel me down, let me so cold And I can never see it in my mind That my God is always with me and he's got me in line But thinking that I gotta know the future is the part That keeps me up late at night First hand is done! It looks pretty good. I filed all of the nails down. I might need to clean up the edges a little bit more, but overall, not too shabby. Alright, let's do the right hand, which is gonna be hard since I'm right handed. somehow just breezing through this hand like the placement i'm just getting it like almost on the first try which is really surprising for me so i've only spent five minutes doing this but i literally spent like five minutes on each finger on this hand like i'm almost done i just need to do my thumb okay I may have spoke too soon because this thumb took me five minutes. I don't know why I was struggling so much, but I think I finally got a good enough placement. <laughs> Okay, so I finally finished my nails. They actually turned out so pretty. I really, really like how they came out. And I also ended up changing my ring finger. I originally had the plain tortoise shell on this finger, but I saw this hand and I really liked the one with the gold flakes. So I peeled it off and put the one with the gold flakes on. It was really easy. It peeled off nice and clean, no residue. It didn't like ruin my nail at all. And the overall look feels very chic. So we'll see if this lasts 14 days i didn't put the gel top coat on it's just the stickers the sizes were actually perfect for my nail sizes i thought it was going to be too big but once i actually started putting them on i was like wow they actually fit perfectly i would say ohora's designs are way cuter like they have so many super cute designs dash and diva in terms of their like nail stickers didn't have as many designs that i was that into that's why i only got two but the price is way better i think for dash and diva since these are only eight dollars ohoras are like 14 to 17 dollars plus shipping is also another big factor dashing diva was free after like 15 dollars ohora is free after like 80 dollars if not then you have to pay 15 dollars for shipping because it's being shipped from korea but i love the quality of ohora's nails they just feel so luxurious and salon quality dashing diva definitely feels more like you're just painting on your own nail polish which isn't a bad thing but 
I think the real test is to see whether it lasts 14 days without any top coat or anything not sponsored by the way at all by any of these brands just wanted to share some things that I've been interested in lately hopefully you guys find it interesting as well good morning guys so it's the next morning and I decided that I'm going to put on the top coat that I was talking about yesterday because throughout the evening and the night yesterday I just noticed that it already started peeling i'm literally just like doing random stuff i was opening a ziploc bag the nail lifted or sometimes i'll like scratch because i have eczema so i get itchy sometimes so i'll like scratch and then that will like make the sticker lift off too so i just feel like i need to be really careful with my nails but i i hate that feeling i just want these nails to last because i think they're so pretty and i don't want them to start peeling off already on when it hasn't even been 24 hours so we're just gonna apply the top coat today pretty much all of them are fine it's just like these two i'm noticing the most peeling up like you can see on the very ends they're just already starting to lift and i don't want them to get any worse and i don't want any of the other nails to get that way either so we're gonna apply this top coat i got this on amazon it was like six dollars i honestly have never worked with gel polish before so this was my first time actually using like a gel nail polish and it's so amazing like it's not like normal nail polish if you've never used gel before you can apply it and then it doesn't dry until you cure it so you can make any adjustments you can wipe it off of your skin what i did before is just take a bit of the polish seal the tip so i'll just like run the brush over the tip of my nail first and then apply it to the rest of the nail i learned this from another youtuber because she said if you cap the nail last then it might leave a thick layer on the tip but if you cap it first and then apply the polish on the rest of the nail then you know you can see it doesn't have that thick layer on the end anymore i don't like that thick layer so this is the best way i think for me once i have it all on i usually try to get like in the crevices as well and that really helps to make your polish last longer because that way you know if you're like washing your hair or like just running your hand through your hair it helps prevent the hair from getting snagged and then i'm gonna just take this little brush and i just use this to like clean up the edges like if i got any gel top coat on my skin i'll just wipe the excess off on this <laughs> little paper towel or kleenex and then i'm gonna grab my uv lamp i should have done this before i painted my nail but <laughs> that's okay so this is what it looks like just a little tiny lamp plug it in here and then you can plug it into an outlet but the outlet is kind of far for me right now because i'm facing a weird direction right now <laughs> i'm like in the middle of the room so i just have my laptop and i just plugged it in and then you can turn it on and let it cure so the light will automatically turn off at 45 seconds but then i'll just turn it on again and i'll cure it three times also i would move this out of the way so that it doesn't affect the polish inside okay so you can see that it just turned off so i'm gonna do it one more time and you can hold it to make sure that the tip gets cured as well and then one last time okay so now my thumb is all done feels nice and cured and it's hard so i'm gonna continue on with the rest of my nails and then we'll check back once i'm done Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her Let me paint a picture I see they don't understand Feeling like Picasso She brushing against my hands Seeing you from around the way You didn't give me the time of day You be making moves that yeah Who really care what Simon say All the bad things girl I had to look past that Call yourself a dime I'm just trying to get my cash back You be looking fine so no wonder they can't match that Louis V scarf for I'm chilling with a dad hat Whoa Slow it down like that Just hold me down like that Everyone's 
my gosh okay i'm finally done with putting the top coat on all of my nails and i feel so much better about them now they feel so much more secure and i think having that cap on the end to really seal the sticker with my nail is gonna help a lot in making them last longer and they're super duper shiny it looks so high quality now and like professional i feel like so i'm really happy with the way that they turned out good morning guys final update of this vlog i wanted to show you what my nails look like now it has been 16 days since i applied the dashing diva stickers this is what they are looking like they honestly look almost the same as when i put them on none of the stickers have come off yet they still look super shiny i didn't experience any major lifting actually not even any lifting at all they did grow out a little bit but that's natural of course because my nails grew out as nails do but overall i'm super happy with the way that these have held up over the past two weeks like i mentioned it's been 16 days over 14 days since i've had them on and they still look really good i can't really speak to just wearing the stickers on their own because i did put a top coat over it but i will say that having the top coat i think definitely elongates the amount of time that you can have these on your nails like you saw they were already starting to peel up after not even 24 hours after i applied them without the top coat but once i put the top coat on they, they're like bulletproof so i highly recommend putting on a top coat but i did notice that even with the top coat with the ohora nails they still peeled off within like 14 days but i haven't had any of them come off yet for these dashing diva nails i think ohora does still have dashing diva beat in terms of the designs that they offer so it's really hard for me to choose like which one i would prefer over the other you guys have only seen me put on dashing diva but the process is exactly the same for Ohora. It's just that Ohora has one more step where you have to cure the stickers. But yeah, overall, it's hard for me to decide which one I would prefer. Both of them, I still think they're a great price because I feel like you are paying a lot less than going to a salon. And it also takes a lot less time than going to a salon or doing your own nails, like painting your own nails. I've just been loving nail stickers. It's up to you to really decide like which brand you wanna go with or try both. I would honestly recommend both. They're both great for different reasons. So yeah, that has been my little review of these K-Beauty nail brands. I think that's it for me showing you how I do my nails at home. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, let me know what other types of videos you want to see from me. I've been really enjoying doing these like vlogs. I have some more exciting videos planned coming up soon. So I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! There must be something about the features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her She's a Mona Lisa